receive a warm greeting, dear friends. On this occasion, we are going to look at the use of this tool, the short killer, in order to recover the signals that govern the gate drivers, the CK signals, specifically for Samson, due to imperfections in their functioning. We will see and apply it a Samsung TV model 50TU8000, 58TU8000, and similar models. which tends to fail because the panel initially short. You will notice that the impedance of the CKV line is affected, resulting in symptoms such as the TV turning on for a sec display the logo and then turning off. Or in some cases, it will be play the characteristic Samsung startup sound, display the logo and then turn off. In other cases, a series of horizontal lines appears, which are annoying on the eye and indicate the presence of this problem. In this situation, and not only for Samsung but also for other screen size and technologies where the same concept applies, we will use this tool, the Short Killer, which we hope to teach you how to make since it is quiet simple to assemble following these functions we will give you. So we will take the measurements of the CK signals to understand their correct or functionally state and thus determine when they are in good or bad conditions. Based on this, we can determine if it is a candidate for applying the short killer to these signals. For these measurements, we will use a high sensitivity instrument. You will notice that in some cases the signals vary from some kilo ohms to mega ohms, 20, 25, 30 mega ohms. So we suggest using a measuring instrument with good sensitivity and range. Next, we will visualize the point where we will make the measurements to determine the state of the left or right side of our LCD panel. 
Remember, gentlemen, that this concept applies not only to Samsung TVs, but also to other technologies, as they all use these types of signal that govern or control the gates drivers, such as CK signals. We will then perform a test on the instrument. We notice that it has frequently control a variable output from 0 to 40 volts or 0 to 100 volts. A uh, road start to adjust this value, a fixed output of 0 to 30 volts, and a meter that measurement voltage and current. The current at some point in the short removal process will show the consumption presented by the CK lines either between adjacent lines or alternate lines. Here we notice that a load is being placed, in this case a tool that will allow us to monitor the consumption at a given moment to validate the meter's operation as an emitter at the bottom and thus understand when there is consumption in the CQ line which is evidence of an attempt to remove the short or at least affect, modify or increase the impedance affecting the panel operation. Let's now look at the diagnostic procedure of this screen, which arrives at the workshop because it turns on, illuminates the backlight and then turns off. The standby light blinks twice indicating an error code where the PMIC or the DC-DC multi -coverter has detected that the number of time it has turned on and off has reached the limit and proceeds to shoot down the suck. Remember that the PMIC, which is the image we see here, communicates with the main processor or suck via the 12C bus and when it detects that the number of error has reached 256, it immediately shoots down the processor and the entire systems. We will review the situation that generated this conflict and measure the CK signals. Here we see the CK1 signal relative to CK3 shows height impedance, CK2 to CK4 height impedance, CK3 to CK5 height impedance, CK4 to CK6 height impedance, CK5 to CK7 height impedance, CK6 to CK8 shows 1 mega ohms and decreasing. We will proceed to remove the flex that connect the panel to the main board to prevent any impact on the main board when applying the short killer. We will disconnect both ribbons connecting on the left side to the right and also remove both resource or protections device on that side, doing so carefully. Remember, once we remove these both resource, we move reinstall them to prevent any transient for affecting the panel. Note that a resource is a device that short when its threshold voltage is exceeded, so reinstalling them is very convenient, as it helps protect the panel from any voltage surges from the power supply or the DC-DC multi -coverter. In such situation, this device will protect the panel. In fact, it's important for warranty purposes. We will then apply the short killer between the affected CK. For this case, we will start with 38 to 40 volts, not arbitrarily applying 60, 80 or 100 volts 
as that will be absurd since the panel internally has avalanche diodes that cool short. Therefore, it is not correct to exceed the nominal values. It all depends on the panel's topology and each case. Each case is different, so we will apply it directly to those lines without exceeding the nominal voltage of for this case. Here, it's being applied between CK6 and CK8 for intervals of 1 2 seconds, then between CK7 and CK8. We measure and find that the impedance between CK6 and CK7 increased, improved, and between CK6 and CK8 and CK7 and CK8 also showed low impedance which increased and improved. After this action, it's important to enter service mode and clear the errors. So we enter service mode, info factory, SVC, info error code, and clear the error to stop the TV from turning off since the PMIC counter always maxes out. Here we are in service mode, looking at the error counters, and we see the counter is at 1047, meaning it was extremely high due to multiple shutdowns. 1047. We reset it. Now, the million dollar question is, how do we build the short killer? The short killer is essentially a regulated power source secret by a stable multiplicator, such as 555, or it can perfectly be a PWM port output of a microcontroller. The meter can be configured as an emitter or voltmeter, and the transformer can be one that we can all make with multiple outputs or alternatively just to windings and regulate it discreetly. The important thing here is to develop the criteria to determine when to apply the short killer and when not to and to signals like VGH, VGL, VCS, knowing which Resistors round these types of signals to avoid altered reading because they will likely show low impedance of 5.5k, 1k because there is a resistor to round. So it's important to have an impedance long for all types of panel and based on that, know how to apply it. We look forward to seeing you in a future discussion where we will learn to create this simple tool and especially to estimate the criteria to apply it. If you want to delve deeper into these concepts, we invite you to read the book on LED TV repair techniques or participate in discussions held periodically with Zoom and in person. I hope this video is very useful for you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel and activating the bell. Happy repairs, friends.